hello and welcome everyone to my video in this video i will show you how to choose a design aircraft for airport pavement design my name is Muhammad ali ajam tipu and i have a bsc degree from bangladesh university of engineering and technology in civil engineering so first of all we will discuss how airport pavement is different from a highway pavement at first the plane lands on a fixed places on the runway in road the vehicle may travel across width of the highway high load and less frequency it means that in airport runway we have very high load the load of the aircraft and the frequency is much less than a regular highway because in the highway the load is much more frequent impact load in the runway is lower than highway pavement the front wheel of the aircraft is called the nose gear and the back wheels of the aircraft is called main gear or landing gears main gears actually carry 95 percent of the total aircraft weight where the nose gear carry only five percent so in the design process we will only consider the main gear or the landing gears as they carry most of the loads of the aircraft the nose gear carry very little amount of loads these are the different components of the aircraft and we have here is the maximum height we have the wing span that is from the one side of the wing to the other side now let's go to the landing gear configuration in this picture we can see a dual wheel gear configuration where we have four wheels now here is the different types of wheel gear configurations first of all we have the nose wheel we know it's at the front of the aircraft then we have a single wheel gear which have single wheel on the both side of the aircraft then we have dual wheel gear we have four wheels here two in left side and two on the right side and then we have dual tandem wheel gear where we have total of eight wheels or four wheels on each side next we have dual tandem wheel gear where we have four wheel on the left and four wheel on the right side and that makes a total of eight wheels heavier aircraft may have more wheels then we can see that double dual tandem wheel gear it has eight wheels on the right and eight wheels on the left and it has two tandem on each side and that makes a total of 16 wheels next we have dual tandem and dual wheel gear which have six on the left and six on the right that makes 12 wheels we have a wide body aircraft here is the models of the planes that are considered as wide body aircraft is B747, B767, DC10 and L1011 and for wide body aircraft we take the weight as 300,000 pound and gear configuration is dual tandem or 8 wheels regardless of their actual weight and actual wheel configuration so now we are back this time we will be choosing the design aircraft using this table and following some simple procedures here in the question these are the given data we have the aircraft type we have the annual forecast departure main landing gear configuration and gross takeoff weight among these aircraft we will choose one aircraft as a design aircraft and we will design our pavement according to that aircraft and we will convert all the other aircraft departure into the design aircraft that is the main purpose so first of all we will bring all the aircraft models here so i will just put a formula here and bring it down then we will have all the aircraft here then we have the forecast annual departures which is this column so we will bring it here again now we have the aircraft models and we have the aircraft departure the next thing we will need is the gross takeoff weight which is already given in here so we are bringing it here so we brought all of them here now what we have is uh, we have already one of the column left that is already given in the uh, question so we are bringing that here first main landing gear configuration so we will be bring the main landing gear configuration here so this is the main landing gear configuration for these aircrafts so now all the data from the questions are brought here in the table now we will continue our math so first of all what we will do is we will bring the gross weight on landing gears so as we know as the plane has two separate gears one is the landing gears other is the nose gears 
nose gear resides at the front and the landing gears are at the back side and we know that 95% of the total weight of the aircraft is carried by the landing gears on the main gears we will just uh, use the 95% of the gross takeoff weight so 95 divided by 100 so we are just copying the formula here for in all the cells so this will bring us the gross weight on landing gear now we need the number of wheels in main gear now we have the dual wheel gear configuration we know it has four wheels on two on the both side and then we have again it's dual then dual tandem it has two tandems on two sides so it has eight wheels then again we have dual then we have dual tandem again eight and then we have double dual tandem so this brings us to 16 the next thing is that load per wheel remember this is the most important quantity here because the load will be transported to the pavement through wheels so how much load is carried by each individual wheel is very important so now we are calculating that so what we will do we know that the gross weight on landing gears or total weight on landing gears is here we will divide by the total number of wheels in the landing gear this will bring us the load per wheel of the aircraft now we have something else here now we have said that if we have a wide body aircraft which has very wide body and these these are the models so if we have that we will take their weight as 300,000 pounds and we have L1011500 and we have 747100 and we will take their weight as 300 kips and we will take their gear configuration as dual tandem so that will have 8 wheels so this is the values and this will be same for the other one too here we have 300 whole but it will be 95 percent of 300 so 0 0.95 because 95 percent of the load is carried by the landing gears not all of them now we have all the load per wheel data now we will choose our design aircraft based on these values load per wheel values which one is carrying the load most we will choose that so now we have the maximum value is here 43.9375 this is the maximum value so we can say that our design aircraft is this one we will have to convert other aircraft into design aircraft which means that we will have to convert this uh, gear configurations into dual configuration we have the design aircraft is b727200 now we are writing that b727200 as a design aircraft and then gear type is dual and gross weight of the aircraft is 160 and wheel load which is the du1 this one is this we will have to bring up the gear configuration factors which means we will have to convert other gears into dual gear configuration it's a dual so it will be one and this one is given from dual tandem to dual converting from dual tandem to dual we have a chart here we have dual tandem to we will go dual wheel so this the factor is 1.7 so we will use 1.7 next what we have is a dual tandem which is the same 1.7 then we will have we have dual then it is one and it is one again and then we have dual tandem which is 1.7 and we have double dual tandem so we have double dual tandem to dual wheel it is also 1.7 so we have all the factors we will calculate the equivalent departure of design aircraft we will do that by taking this conversion factor multiplying by the annual departure of that aircraft and we will do the same for all of the aircrafts and this is the converted departure now that we have all the data we will calculate the design wheel load we will convert the load of these uh, wheels to the design aircraft we will use this formula the natural logarithm of r1 r1 is the equivalent load wheel load of the design aircraft 
first of all we will calculate this whole quantity then we will take the anti log the function is ln ln which is returns the natural logarithm of the number so we will use that and then in the bracket we will have the r2 r2 means this one then we will multiply this by w2 which is the wheel load divided by the w1 w1 is the load of the design aircraft so we will keep it fixed we have to put a square root so that is 0 0.5 this is the values of this side now we will have to take an anti log of e we will just put an exponential exp we will just put the number inside the parenthesis and this is the converted wheel load and this gives us the design wheel load we will calculate the summation of this and this is the total equivalent annual departure of our design aircraft we will continue our math of designing a flexible pavement thank you